Hey booktube, Chelsea the Reading Outlaw here to do a recent review slash like wrap up update kind of thing of the picture books and kids books that I've been reading a lot lately. Uh, as most of you probably know, I am a mom. Uh, so first things first, if you hear some chatter in the background, that's my little helper. She is not yet to her nap time, so she's awake and just kind of chilling. Secondly, window, tree, sunshine, glare, blinds are closed, what can I do? Uh, all right, friends, I'm going to go over kind of two sections. The first are the board books that Ellie and I are reading together. When I say reading, these are mostly books that she chews on and that I will occasionally pick up and read to her or that she reaches for during her tummy time. She's just shy of four months old, so reading is, you know, a loose term. But these are some favorites that we've had, a lot of them that we've had since Will was a baby. The first one is actually not one that we've had for very long. It's a library book. It's A is for Angry, an Animal and Adjective Alphabet by Sandra Boynton. If you are a parent, caregiver, aunt, uncle, if you have a baby in your life, you probably recognize Sandra Boynton's name and art style. She is kind of a reigning queen of the board book and picture book world. Um, I really love this one because I personally believe that it's never too early to start teaching emotional fluency and literacy. So this one is what it sounds like. It is a letter book or O is for outraged, P is for playful. And you also get like other opossum and pig and other words that start with the letters on that page. T is for tangled, a turkey trap and a turkey. So yeah, it's just a really, really nice, cleanly illustrated primer on both the alphabet and like, like I said, emotional fluency and literacy. This is not one that we chew on. This is one that I read to her during tummy time because it's a library book and she gets skeeved out about both receiving and giving germs back to the library when it comes to board books. So next up, the rest of these are all leftovers from when her brother was little. Uh, so we chew on these quite freely, and these are some of our absolute long-term favorites. The first one is a series. It's called the Epic Yarn series. It, this is the Star Wars collection. So we have Epic Yarn, Star Wars, A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and oh, The Empire Strikes Back. And what is great about these is that these are, let's see, I'll start with A New Hope. These inside are one word story primers with felted, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, needle felted scenes from Star Wars. So this one says boy and is about Luke. And then we see learn where he's training with old Ben. Captain, we meet Han Solo. This is one of my favorite ones. They're really, really, really cute. I love the attention to detail and the amount of skill that the actual needle felting like yarn craft production side of these books must have taken. Plus like we're big nerd parents. Mark loves reading these with Ellie or loves having Ellie chew on them. Star Wars by Osmosis, I guess. Um, we absolutely love these books. And then the last one is uh, from the Little Masters series. This is a series of board books that is becoming like increasingly popular that takes classic tales of literature and repackages them into different kind of board books. Uh, Romeo and Juliet is a counting book. Moby Dick is a, I think, colors book. Sherlock Holmes is like a Halloween, like scary, like sounds book. This is The Jabberwocky. It's a nonsense primer. It is The Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll, but it is obviously much abridged with some really beautiful uh, construction paper color block illustrations. So... "'Twas brillig in the slowly toes, did gyre and gimble in the wave, all mimsy were the boar groves, and the mome wraiths outgrabe." This book is why I have a decent portion of the beginning of the Jabberwocky mentioned. Not all of it, the Jabberwocky is very long, but the opening to and the closing to the Jabberwocky poem. So I really love this one. We have a couple of these, but the Jabberwocky one has always been my favorite, and as such, it became Will's favorite too. So obviously very sturdy, like heavy duty quality because this book has lasted now through both of my kids. And then moving on to talk about some of the things that Will is reading. He is four going on five. So together at night, we are reading a lot of picture books. We are reading a lot of longer picture books. This is The Little Guys by Vera Brosco. Vera Brosco wrote Anya's Ghost and also Leave Me Alone, which was an award winner. This is an adorable story about the little guys. The little guys are these uh, acorn hat wearing little creatures who live in the forest who when they work together can do anything. And that is... A message that gets like spun on its head a little bit when the little guys start to team together to kind of like become bullies and 
the text shows them continuing to say things like, we're the little guys. If we work together, we're the strongest thing in the forest. And like, we're the little guys. We can take on anybody. But they're getting increasingly like more violent and agile. Like there's nothing violent, but like, you know, like they're getting more antagonistic to the other forest creatures. And at the end, it ends up kind of hurting the little guys. And they have to realize that like, while they can do everything if they work together, that doesn't make everything that they do a good thing. And it's just a really interesting message with really, really adorable illustrations. Um, let's see. Try to get it out of the glare as much as possible. But yeah, I just really, really uh, enjoy the kind of twist on or the addendum to the message that like teamwork is super great. I really enjoyed it. This next one is kind of just more uh, fun. This is Mission Defrostable, Lady Pancake, and Sir French Toast. Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast are a series of books by Josh Funk. This one, Mission Defrostable, is about what happens when the fridge starts to frost over and Sir French Toast and Lady Pancake have to go on kind of a quest to find out what is causing the fridge to become, or the freezer to become like frosted over. It's very cute. I love the illustration styles. Um, as you can see, there's lots of colors, lots of big bright lines. It's not very long, it rhymes, but the, the concept is taken to such interesting ends and we meet so many different like kinds of foods and frozen foods. It's a very adult friendly picture book as well. And it's just so bright and so colorful. Will really loves this one. Um, and then uh, lastly, sometimes when we're not reading picture books together, we are starting to dip into more of the early readers. So we are reading The Princess in Black by Shannon and Dean Hale. If you have not heard of The Princess in Black, The Princess in Black is about Princess Magnolia, who is the perfect princess by day, but will swish into the princess in black, who is a ninja, crime-fighting, justice-seeking, uh, not princess, whenever help is needed. So this is the first book in what is now a series. It's really adorable. It obviously is filled with a message of um, not conforming to necessarily society standards or the breadth of existences that can be embodied in like a single person. But it's also the story of a really uh, kick butt crime fighting ninja girl. So we love The Princess in Black. And then on audio at dinner time, we usually listen to audiobooks like at the dinner table. Uh, we listen to things that are a little bit more advanced that way. Um, I just, it just seems to be that's kind of the way it's working out. So the first thing we read recently was The BFG by Roald Dahl. Will love this one. If you are familiar with The BFG, it is about Sophie and the big friendly giant. Sophie is up one night in the middle of the night and she looks out the window and sees The BFG. Because she sees him, he has to take her because he can't risk her telling everybody that there are giants in the world. And then she is introduced to... Uh, the BFG and all of the other giants that exist in giant land and the horrible kind of awful mean giants that they are because he of course is the big friendly giant. This leads to them kind of wreaking havoc and starting to play pranks and going to the queen to ask for pardon for the giants. And There's a lot of twists and turns and adventures that this book makes up and plays with language in a really interesting way because everything that the BFG says is English adjacent but he also makes up a lot of words um it's similar to some of the things that are entirely in the chocolate factory if you've ever read that one but way 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 like dialed up to 11 and because of that it was a really really like fun reading experience and then this one we've just recently started because it's mom's pick but i think he's really gonna like it and that is the girl who circumnavigated freyland in a ship of her own making by kat valenti um this is my favorite series like of writing that Kat Valenti has ever done. Some of her adult stuff just doesn't sit nearly as well with me. I really kind of bounced off of space opera, but I love September. This is the first installment in the series that is about September, who is a girl who gets whisked away to fairyland and has to find her way home in a ship of her own making. While she's there, she meets a blue boy named Saturday and a wyvern, which is a combination between a wyvern and a library. She has to help save fairyland and uh, dethrone the evil Marquess and along the way she learned some really important lessons. There are four books in this series, three of which are about September, one of which is about a changeling boy. If you've never read these and you love Harry Potter, Morgan Crow, The Phantom Tolduth, port those kind of portal fantasies, Narnia, the, going back to those kinds of traditions, please go pick up the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. Also, I really love the title. I love the titles of the books in the series. I'm a fan of long titles. Um, all right, friends, that is the kind of rundown of some things that we've really been reading and enjoying lately as a family. Let me know down below if you have favorite board books, picture books, middle grade, early reader, kids books, 
we're not kind of to chapter books yet. He started asking about Harry Potter, but I think we're going to hold off a little bit longer, mostly because once you start those books, it's very hard to stop. But if you've got recommendations, please leave them down below. Also, if you uh, have not stopped by my channel before, please like, subscribe, leave me an emoji in the comments. I am kind of running a little whisper campaign to get to 3,000 subscribers by the time I turn 31 in November. So if you are already subscribed and you don't mind sharing this video, or if you're new here and you want to hit the subscribe button, both would mean the absolute world to me. Until next time, friends, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have happy reading.